good day. Uh, welcome to our first uh, video lecture for event-driven programming. So again, let me remind you that this subject is focused on the creation and manipulation of GUI components that will uh, create events in the programs or the applications that we will be creating. So for today's video lecture, we'll be talking about some installation requirement reminders. We'll talk about window builder. We'll be creating a new project and then we'll also create a frame. Uh, we'll try to configure the visibility of the frame as well as its dimension or size. And we will create a, a closed terminate component uh, to the frame. Okay. So to start with, I hope you have already successfully uh, installed in, uh, a compiler that is compatible with uh, Java Swing okay, libraries. So for those who are using online compilers, uh, I haven't tried it yet, but if you came across some problem, just uh, inform me ahead of time so that I can also help with it. Okay. So if you have successfully installed your Java Eclipse, that's a good thing. But before that, let me remind you na since we are no longer dealing with console, uh, I'm not saying that we are already, what do you call this one? We no longer uh, take into consideration what is written or what will be displayed in the console. What I'm trying to say is that the console will, be, will only be for monitoring whether our program successfully run or not. Okay, so since we no longer use console as our basis for the output, what you need to do is to check whether if your uh, IDE has a window builder. So for example, in Eclipse, so if you are not sure about it, you can just right click, for example, if there are already existing ga uh, projects in your computer, you can just right click on it and then you click on others. Yeah, you click first on the new and then you look for the last option, which is other. And then there you can see if you can if you have something like this, like the window builder, this one, it means na your IDE is already up to date and you can already perform GUI operations in Java. But for those who are having some hard time or wala gidina gidina, so you can just go to help and then you go to Eclipse Market and then uh, they will be they will provide you with a uh, what you call this one an interface wherein you can search on a particular package or particular library that you can download and install okay it would take time because marami yung gumagamit ng ng IDE or ng feature na to so you just search dayon uh, window builder and then you'll be provided with the instructions on how to do it so just like what I did uh, earlier so I noticed na hindi gumagana yung program ko so I checked the libraries on uh, marketplace and they just provided you with the links so for example ito if you if I will type a uh, window builder and then pr uh, hit enter a query will be uh, they will query on their database and then depending kasi yan sa lakas ng internet connection nyo so for example ito the latest is window builder 1.97 so I prefer this one because yung 1.9.8 it's still in development and if you notice it is still unstable okay so just click install and then uh, you'll be provided with instructions now on how to do it na dayon okay so I hope that is clear if you have questions regarding that one you can just comment it down below okay now let's go to our next goal so let's try to put some ano, remarks here uh, na tapos na ito same goes with this one so let's now proceed with our next agenda which is creating a new project so I think this is already not new to us because you have undergone man this one in your OOP diba you were using already Java for OOP so it's only a review okay so for those who are using Windows on the upper left corner of your computer you can just click on file and then click new and then you click on Java project and then a dialog box or a, dia a dialog uh, an interface that will ask you for the project name will be provided and then just make sure 
na the execution environment that you will be using is the latest one which is 1.8 para wala nang problems okay and then if you notice also the purpose of this location or the directory is that if ever you would want to copy the file you can just go onto this directory okay so for this one or for this uh, activity or for this demonstration we will use this project name okay so java gui uh, 2t pag ibig sabihin ng 2t is second term okay para alam ko na ito yung ginagamit ko na project for the second semester of java gui okay and then you just click finish and then there you have it on the uh, left side of your task pane sa uh, imong compile uh, ide you'll be provided with uh, with the list of projects that you have okay so we have successfully created the project so we'll mark it first done para alam natin kung saan na tayo the second one is that we will try to create the frame using window builder okay i'm sorry Eto, let's go back to our java eclipse so since we are putting all our source codes here what we will try to do is that you ri we right click on it and then we click on this one the last option and then we look for window builder and then under window builder there will be some uh, subfolder so you go to swing designer and then you go for jframe since we will be dealing with uh, jframes muna okay just click next and then the very basic natin is that we'll create a main frame natin okay we'll just click finish and then if you notice bibigyan tayo ng uh, template on ano on a frame but since we would want everything to be understood so we'll try to create first at to create it from scratch like from zero talaga so we'll delete this one and then we'll try to code manually so the first thing to do is that you import first your library so for this demonstration i'll be using uh java swing libraries ayan pansin nyo uh, med uh, not pansin but to be reminded si java gui especially those who are dealing with uh, window builder they are very particular with uh, they are case sensitive like yung uh, they will mark it wrong if it's if it's a, if yung lower case is ginawa yung upper case tapos yung upper case ginawa yung lower case so be careful on that so let's create since this one is named as uh public so we will try to create a public class with a name na main and then we'll create the basic argument uh and and of course gagawa tayo ng isang frame so again please be reminded since we are using big f on this library gawin uh, yung gagawin nyo is that you use also j capital j capital f para hindi mag error okay and then you have this one ayan let's try to see kung ano yung mga errors na usual na nangyayari dito so i think this one is kulang ng ganyan ayan ayan so dito yung kulang dito is ano ba you have public wala tayong nilagay na class ayan so if you notice there are warnings already okay ayan no warnings so this one is not string but string dapat okay you have warning so make sure to take into consideration yung mga warnings na uh, pinapakita sa atin for example ito yung warning dito is that you created the class with the with an uppercase m so you need to change it into main ganyan okay ayan there are also warnings for this one so if you will try to run this ayan if you notice yung sa baba may lumabas pero walang lumabas na frame diba kasi nga we're just creating first this one is creating an instance of an object through frame okay this one creates a frame pero yung frame natin is hindi pa natin nilagyan ng specifications or kung ano yung itsura niya. So, just to make the frame visible, we can just make it visible by saying frame set visible. Ayan. 
will be provided with the syntax na. Okay. So, the syntax is asking for a boolean value. So, it, it could either be true or false. Pag true, no, pag true yung nilagay mo, ibig sabihin, yung frame makikita. Pag false is hindi siya visible. Okay? That's the other way around. So, if I will click this one, if you notice, may, luma, may lumabas dito. Iba? Ito, iba? May lumabas dito. Kanina, look at this one, ha? I will just try to stop muna. So, kanina wala pa ito. If you notice, pag wala pa yan, yung sa baba, pansin nyo sa ibaba dito. May lalabas na parang logo ni Java. Ayan. Pero wala siyang pinapakita, di ba? But, if we will try to set the frame into visible, may lalabas dyan, and then on your upper left corner, may lalabas din dyan. You can even drag it. Pwede siya ipatunga, di ba? And you can even resize it, di ba? So, you'll be create, you will be presented with a generic na frame. So, since we don't want something like that, we need to, uh, once it's running, we need to create, uh, we need to specify kung ano yung size niya. So, to do that one, what we will do is use uh, frame set size. Ayan. Lagyan mo natin ng comment para hindi tayo malito. So, this one is making the frame vis visible. Like, lalabas talaga siya as a window. Okay? The second thing that we will do is that we will try to create or set or configure the size of the frame. So, yung configuration niya, it is composed of two values. The first value is the x dimension, which is yung from left to right. And then, yung pangalawa is the y dimension, which is from up to down. So, if gusto mo na mas medyo malaki or uh, medyo malaki yung frame mo, you configure first the x value, which is the first one. If you would want a longer frame, you can figure it, you can figure the y value or the y dimension. Okay? So, if you will try to run this one, yung mangyayari is something like this. Okay. Diba? Pansin nyo? Diba? Kanina, wala siyang, uh, let's try to compare muna. And then, I'll stop. Ayan. A while ago, pag wala pa tayong naset na size, yung, ipapa, yung ibibigay sa atin is something like ganito. Like tayo pa yung mag, uh, like manually we do the sizing of the frame. Pero, once we set the size of the frame, yung mayayari is something like this. Like, we have set na this is 420, either the y, either x axis or the x dimension is 420, the other one or the y dimension is 420, uh, you'll be given with this kind of size na din of frame. So, please be reminded na yung frame natin size, yung frame, uh, frame size natin, uh, yung unit of measurement niya is in pixel. Ibig sabihin, yung measurement niya from this one, pa uh, paingon, uh, papunta dito, di ba? Nagkaka, ano na, nagkakabaliktad-baliktad na. So, the dimension from left to right is measured or is, uh, measures 420 pixel. The measurement from up to down is 420 pixel. Okay? So, we don't need to specify kasi nasa library na yan ni uh, Java Swing. Okay? So, that's how you set the size of the frame. Okay? The next one naman is to make it uh, to make the customization or to make it more personal. You can also set the title of the frame. So, let's ano muna. Let's try to check muna kung ano yung title ng frame na to. So, if you notice wala pa siyang title head dito, di ba? Wala siyang title or wala siyang caption dito or label. Not caption but label. So, y yung gagawin natin is that we'll try to make it personal. Lagyan natin ng name natin dito. So, to do that one, to do that one, uh, what you need is to type frame.setTitle, diba? Ayan, no? Diba? Andiyan na yung syntax, tapos you just, just need to type na lang the value. So, for example, this is my first frame, ayan, or name. Hmm. Or you can just type your name later na. Okay? So, if you will try to... Uh, run this one, you'll be presented with a frame that has a title 
title na this is my first frame okay name of the frame okay run natin if you notice ayan no this is my first frame okay pansin niyo di ba so close na natin okay the last one ah, wait muna check muna natin yung outline natin so tapos na tayo sa pag create ng frame tapos na din tayo sa pag uh, paglalagay ng visibility option for the frame as well as its dimension. So the last one which is quite easy and then is also important is ito. Uh, if you notice, if I will run this one, 'di ba? And then I'll just close it. Pansin niyo, nandiyan pa rin siya, 'di ba? So to close this one, I need to click this button here, the stop button and then automatic mawawala na siya. So to make your uh, close button or functional or gagawin niya talaga yung ginagawa niya na i-terminate yung program. What we will do is to uh, set its operation into exit on close. So just type ayan. You know, type lang natin dito. You have frame, oh, sorry. frame that set default close ayan oh default close and then click mo lang yan and then you try to put here j frame kasi yan yung object name natin di ba ay yung object type natin j frame dot exit ayan oh exit on close so this one is a function or a, a j frame function that will allow you to terminate the program using the close button okay So hindi na natin kailangan na mag uh, what equals one press this terminate button dito. So uh, terminate button using close. Ah, terminate function de sorry. The terminate function using close button. Okay? So check natin if this one is working or not. So if I will run this one, ayan. And then I will use the close button Diba? Pansin nyo, I don't need to click this one already. Okay. So, we are done for our first uh, first session. Marami pa tayong pag-uusapan. If you have questions regarding this video lecture, you can comment it down below. If you also have suggestions on how to do it better, uh, you can also what do you call this one? comment it below. Okay. So, thank you again for joining me today. And then I'll be posting the act for your activity after this one. Thank you.